President Trump says special counsel Robert Mueller should not testify before Congress. Former FBI director James Comey says that he doesn't understand why, since he feels the Russia report is a, quote, complete exoneration of the president. Comey's memoir, A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership, has just come out on paperback, and he says he hopes that it gets more young people involved in public engagement. My colleagues Vladimir Jutier and Anne-Marie Green spoke with Mr. Comey about the president's continued attacks on the intelligence community as an anti-Trump establishment. First of all, all humans are flawed. You're talking to a flawed human. They're each different cases, and a number of the cases have nothing to do with one another. Andy McCabe got in trouble for making a disclosure to the media that harmed Hillary Clinton. So how is that being Which he says he was authorized to do. Right. He says he was authorized to do it, but to my mind, how does that make sense as part of an anti-Trump bias? It doesn't. Peter Strzok drafted my letter to Congress on October 28th that Hillary Clinton blames for her defeat. How is that part of the anti-Trump deep state cabal? It just doesn't make any sense, but the people who are consuming that aren't looking for sense. They're just looking for red meat attacks. It's just really bad for our country and for our institutions. All institutions are peopled by and led by flawed people, but the facts matter. And the FBI is a fundamentally honest institution, and it's terrible that the President of the United States is trying to burn it down. So the impetus for all of this, of course, was to determine what sort of impact, if any, Russia had on our federal election, right? For it, with the Mueller report, but before that, the FBI investigation. And now the conversation is about who's going to be subpoenaed. Will we see the unredacted Mueller report? Should we be investigating the investigators? Meanwhile, we have another election coming up. Are we prepared for whatever the Russians or whoever is planning to do as we move forward to the next election? No. It was always about Russia. The FBI's investigation was about Russia, only about Russia trying to understand the nature of its attack and who was associated with it, they succeeded beyond their wildest dreams, the Russians did. Their primary goal was to damage our democracy. Check. They did it. They will be back in 2020, first of all, to work for the candidate they favor, which is our current president, but to continue to harm our democracy. The president of the United States won't acknowledge that it happened. His attorney general says it happened. His secretary of state says it happened. All of his intelligence leaders say it happened. He's on the phone, apparently, with Vladimir Putin laughing about the Russia hoax. That is not a good place for this country to be when a determined adversary is coming back for us. Very ominous. Uh, thank you, Director Comey, for stopping by. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, your time with I us. Say, we really appreciate it. In the preface, it. you say part of the reason that you wrote this book is to give us all hope in our institutions. So there is an, it does have an upswing. There, yeah, yeah. You, it, no, there, I believe we're going to be okay. Yeah. We really are. How quickly we return to our progress against our values is up to us. Long run, we'll be okay. But one of the reasons I'm in this weird phase of my life, public phase, which I don't love, is Silence is complicity. We all have to speak about our values to insist that our leaders reflect them. They so you them. you haven't had a moment where you've sit where you've sat and thought to yourself, um, our constitution, uh, the framers' intent. Uh, those things are only as strong and as solid. We like to believe, I think when we were in civics uh, classes in school, we sat there and we read about the Constitution, we read about the founding, we read about the Emancipation Proclamation and all the things that have come from that and we thought, well, we're always trying to do better. We're always trying to live up to these ideals um, that the framers intended. But it feels as if in 2019, those ideals are only as strong as the people who are there to enforce them or, or there to support them, to support and defend the Constitution. You still have faith that there are enough people in government willing to do that? Yes, because the foundation of those ideals is not those people in leadership, it's us. And if you study American history, that us always returns to our core values. We have periods of retrenchment and retreat. We always end up bouncing back. How quickly we bounce back is up to us, which is why everybody has to get off the couch and out of their car and vote their values. That's how we return to being the America we know and should be. Former FBI Director James Comey, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.